G'day folks, Damon from Nomad. I'm gonna talk you through how to rig the flying fish uh, essentially for casting. There's a couple of options built into the body that just uh, make rigging them for casting a little bit easier. So uh, the same feature is on all of the bodies. Now, really the 280 size is probably bigger than anyone's gonna cast. Um, there is some other cool things you can do with the attachment on the 280, but essentially uh, the 200 and the 140 size uh, what you'd be looking to cast. So obviously the folding wing design helps to make them more castable. Um, you know, they're never gonna cast like a Mad Scat or a Riptide, but to be able to cast something like this, you know, a little flying fish into a, you know, school of feeding tuna or something like that, you're typically casting downwind anyway. Uh, it can be an extremely effective way to catch fish. So I'll just show you the rigging method for this. So I'll just use the 140 to show you here. What I've done is attached a swinging assist onto the back of the lure. So what you can see here is on the front, we've got the very front eyelet on the top of the head is actually a metal plate that's fixed into the body. And there's a corresponding metal plate under the tail here. So you can effectively attach whatever you want there. You can attach a free swinging assist, you can attach a single, a treble, whatever you want and connect to the head casting uh, and you're good to go. Now you can take the tail out. Um, I actually kind of like taking the tail out if I'm using that swinging assist at the back, mainly because the assist kind of ends up looking like a tail anyway. So uh, you don't actually need the tail in there. So take that out. Um, if you're using a treble at the back, you can probably leave the tail in, but it's personal choice. You can uh, rig it however you want to rig it. Same option on the 200 and on the uh, 280, obviously, like I said, you're not gonna rig this for casting so much, it's probably too heavy for anyone to cast, but what we've found is that when you add in, say, you know, uh, an extra little, you know, a mini chugger or something like that, if you're trolling this at eight or 10 knots, you might wanna attach a little mini chugger at the back, just gives a little bit more of a smoke trail when you're trolling, that can be something fun to play around with. So give that a go, but for, um, for any sort of casting on the two smaller sizes, the, uh, the hook on the back there works perfectly.